Hello, and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about another issue that can be found in your project. As you know, where you have a false ceiling, so you will have MEP services will be installed above the false ceiling. Here are examples of the MEP services that can be found above the false ceiling, and you can find some or all of them in the same space. 1. HVAC ducts. 2. Perforated cable trays. 3. Firefighting pipes. 4. Cable trunks. 5. Fan coil units or FCUs. 6. Chilled water pipes. 7. Condensate drain for HVAC units like FCU. 8. EMT conduits for the different electrical or ICT systems. 9. Medical gas pipes. 10. Variable air volumes or VAVs. 11. Water supply lines like copper pipes. PPR pipes, or even PVC pipes. 12. Cable ladders. 13. Back boxes and flexible conduits. 14. Copper pipes for VRF indoor units. 15. Sound attenuators. So, the coordination between these different MEP systems above the false ceiling in the design and shop drawing stage before the installation process starts on site is very important. This is to avoid any later rework which can affect the project schedule and its cash flow due to a lot of rework. Also, the coordination between these services is very important for the client's maintenance team as they need enough space above the false ceiling for repairing any faults or the installation of any future needs. As you can see in this photo, this is a false ceiling tile, 60 by 60 centimeters. We have many MEP services above the false ceiling and the space above the false ceiling is very congested. We have a black steel firefighting pipe, and its branch goes above the cable tray and trunk, which is wrong, as we need to avoid any wet services above the electrical services. This is especially we have a pipe fitting to connect the arm over with the dropping pipe for the sprinkler. Moreover, as you can see, the cable tray's cover almost touches the bottom of the cable trunks, so this cover can't be removed later for future maintenance or for adding new cables inside this tray. Also, we have pull boxes under the soffits for electrical and low current systems, which makes it very difficult later to access them to do any maintenance. Above all of that, imagine that you have a lighting fixture under this firefighting pipe, so it's impossible to install it. Even if we can install it, it's not safe at all, as the fixture is under a wet service pipe. Actually, most of these congested cases happen in the corridors, especially when the corridor width is short and the space between the false ceiling and concrete slab is very small. So, the MEP designers must coordinate with the architect and the structure design engineer to provide enough space to install these MEP services, otherwise, the construction team will suffer a lot. So, please, before starting your MEP works on site, make sure you read the different MEP drawings, plus structural and architectural drawings to make sure you will not do any rework, as solving the issues on paper is 100 times easier than solving them on site. I hope you learned something new in this video. Thank you, and see you in the next lecture.